Welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, everyone. Another day here on the ranch, and today's a cold one. Old Man Winter finally decided to show up, drop a ton of rain. Um, it's over an inch, I know, last I heard, and the wind has been blowing. This is actually later in the day, and I'm doing the intro now because it's been raining the entire morning. And we just wanted to get to work, start cranking some stuff out because we had our helpers show up, those elders. They wanted to see if they could help out again, so I said, sure. I had to warn them, it's outside. But let's get to this two and a half acres. The elders showed up, my kids showed up, and it was quick work trying to get to it. So here is what happened earlier today. Make sure you guys stay till the end. As you know, Kisses has that eye injury. Um, we wanna give you an update on that, show you some pictures of her. So after we're done with this, we're gonna go feed the buffalo and give you that update, so stay tuned. Do we need to take Tifos out? Alright, I'll tie Tell him when to stop. Because so, he's not going to see it very much. Right, and okay. tell him, like so, at the bottom of the yeah, spade. Yes, yes, and where he went over. Right there, right? Yeah, yeah so when, the, when that disappears in the dirt, you're generally about good enough. If it goes for a little further, I don't care. I just don't want to see it out. So we've got the line all straightened out the 100 feet, and they're going about every eight feet off the H post. You're wet. I'm very wet. Where are my glasses? Yeah, I bet it's hard to see right now. I need it. Yeah. out for you. It's great. This seems really great. Not a problem at all. Uh -uh. Are you rolling it the right way? Yes? yes? Okay. I can see that now. I can see clearly now. But... The rain is here. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. And that's how it works. It's not as easy when it's light, but then it's not as easy when it's heavy, because then it's really heavy. It's barbed wire. I don't know if it's ever easy. Aha! The next line has been prepped. Go. 
go in for ages. Sometimes it just sits there and all of a sudden, boom! <laughs> so according to their mission rules, they're not allowed to be in the back of a truck, and we don't want to have them break those rules for safety purposes. Of course. So we're putting them on this ladder, which is obviously more stable, <laughs> but we want to be safe. So this, this will work just fine, I'm sure. If he falls over, he falls over, but we'll get him there. Pop that, push the trigger, and start going. Yeah, if you flick that up, it kills it. So don't flick it. <laughs> it's not the struck button. This is Elder Vest's first time in the mission field. I think three weeks in. He assured me he worked construction before he came out, so he's all good. put all the posts, the first ones, on the wrong side. The bulls are the weakest of them all, so they're probably not going to stress the fence at all. But I did just warn them, if the bulls get out, it's their fault. So you want to have the teeth post on the outside, so that way when they have the barbed wire on the inside, if they push, it pushes against the teeth post. If you put it on the inside, and you clip it on there to the barbed wire, when they push the barb, it only pushes against the teeth post clip. And when it's only up against the clip, the clip will fail before a T-post will. So I'm going to see what we can do about those. They're in the ground pretty good. If we have to, we'll swap them. But we're putting all these now on the outside with the pokey points, whatever you call them, the knobbies facing inward. We gotta make sure we have enough room for the mower to get by. A couple episodes ago when we were doing this post driving, we measured it and I gotta make sure that as we're rounding this corner we leave enough room from the tree over for my 12 foot brush hog. So, we're a little about 13 and a quarter, 13 and a half, which should be plenty of room. To get the arc, I'm just trying to make sure that we pull it so we have the general arc because it won't hold otherwise. So Chica keeps stepping on it to maintain that arc as we go around. So we're trying to wrap around this bend. It's about 250 foot length. And this is one of the spots that is the most critical. It's just, the wire is getting pretty tight. It's a relatively gradual curve. And we're gonna try and pull it in one big long shot to the corner right over here. So that's our goal. We're 
spacing them every 12 feet with this last one because of the distance. And we're gonna have a H brace still over here. I combine them down to about nine to 10 feet to get the three, and then we'll leave a little bit there at the end. Otherwise, it looks like Robertson is the man of the match right now doing all this driving. Looks like Gray got out of this. I don't know how he did that, but he's manning the level. Okay, so we've got two new guys. We got Vest, which is from North Idaho. North Idaho. Oh, so we're in North. Coeur d'Alene. All right, so that's Colts. This isn't anything for you then, right? No. And he is <laughs> Greeny, so he's brand new. Brand new. How long? Uh, two and a half weeks. Oh, two and a half weeks. He's a baby. All right. And you were a construction worker before you came out? Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then we've got Atkinson, who they switch every once in a while just for variety's sake. And these guys needed some help, so they brought this guy in. That's right. And uh, he never got the memo to actually bring a coat. Well, he did, right? No. No, no, no he didn't. Yeah. Okay. I'm so. not even wearing my clothes. These are all his. <laughs> it's his clothes. Okay. Even yeah. the shoes. No I wonder they look a little small. There. Yeah. yeah that's, all right. Yeah. So you're from? I'm from Pleasant Grove, Utah. Oh, Pleasant oh, Grove. Pleasant Grove. So Pleasant Grove, Utah. Go figure. Anyway, he's the odd man out. He's just visiting and he's keeping us by the rules. No girlfriend? No girlfriend? No. Okay. No girlfriend. No clean. Oh, man. How long have you been out? 20 months. 20 months. Okay, so he goes home in four. So what, March ish? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so that's the group again. They volunteered. I didn't force them. They that's volunteered. Right. <laughs> we texted them this morning. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and we're like, it's raining and cold. Are you guys sure about that? Yeah, it's outside, you know. <laughs> That's right. They all said they knew. That's that's all I know about that. So I figure if I hang out and find Ahmed, I'd find kisses, and there she is. So the piece has not sloughed off her eye yet, but it's looking really good, actually. Well, it looks different, I guess. It's white, so I'm guessing that's still the scabbing going on. It definitely looks sh shrunk. It's smaller than it was. Um, it's white now. Um, I don't see anything around her eye that looks like it's um, infected or swollen. So that's always a good, good sign. Hi, kisses. We've been just over two weeks since the incident with the eye. Injury. Stuff. 
used for those little slide out razor blade kind of stuff. If you have a good hay knife suggestion, let me know because ours just dull too quick. We tried just scraping them down the sides. Those only work for a month or so and then they're just not that good. So good knife suggestions, I'm all for it. This has been handled. It was nice to have those extra helpers from Yelders um, doing service for us and willingly to come out here even though it's raining. Um, but we've got the east side and along the whole north edge done. All we've got left on this two and a half acres is the south side and then the west side. This pasture, before the end of the year, hopefully will all be set out, ready to go except for gates. I'll, just, I'll do that later, but this guy's gonna be clean and then get some of these tree limbs out too. So future projects, we've got a lot of tree grapple work to do, clearing out some pastures, finishing this, and then hopefully soon we'll have more of an update on that little house and maybe even this water well, well house kind of a thing. So anyway, keep with us, a lot more to do. We appreciate you joining along and keep your prayers for kisses. She needs them and hopefully everything heals up there. All right, catch you guys next time. See ya. Oh, yeah.